how do y'all while I had the camera out and everything I thought I would show you a few of the things I picked up when I went shopping to uh, start having a more Mediterranean uh, type diet around here there's a lot of uh, things I have to acquire and so I'm doing that gradually and we're changing over from a low carb or keto diet to a Mediterranean style diet and that means buying a lot of herbs and ingredients that I don't normally keep in the house so starting with fresh garlic um, so I got this elephant garlic it's great big head of garlic so I figured this would be plenty for whatever I'm making and normally I just buy this um, it's a processed minced garlic it's the store brand and it's just fine you know but um, one of the main focuses of this diet is to prepare everything fresh so uh, after I use my minced garlic up I am going to be switching exclusively to the fresh garlic but I just uh, got this to try it and um, get used to you know peeling and slicing and chopping and mincing garlic because I've gotten very lazy and, and used this uh, already prepared garlic okay also um, here we go shallots they came in a little container like this and uh, normally I do not buy shallots I buy Vidalia onions or red onions uh, but many of the recipes that I'm finding specifically ask for shallots so I've gotten some and I'm going to try to learn uh, more about shallots how they taste and how to use them in my new Mediterranean recipes something else that I bought that I've not gotten before is these dried chickpeas uh, I was watching a cooking show and it was talking about hummus and it was talking about how to make your own and how much better it is if you do so so just to try it uh, because it's been years and years since I tried hummus uh, I bought this little refrigerated Sabra Sabra classic I guess that's how you say that hummus and they had so many flavors I was unaware of how many flavors they had in hummus but this is just the classic um, original hummus with I think just chickpeas and a little seasoning maybe um, tahini which is the roasted sesame seed butter it's like peanut butter but it's made with sesame seeds instead of peanuts uh, so I think basically hummus is ground chickpeas and ground or you know mixed with the tahini which is the ground sunflower seeds I mean sesame seeds so I got this so that me and my husband could taste it I have some pita chips and we're going to give this a try but from everything I've heard store-bought hummus is not very good and to not base whether or not you like this on you know something like this but I cannot remember what it tastes like and I don't think he's ever had it so we're gonna try this we're gonna taste it on pita chips and also have it in some pita pocket sandwiches as is recommended but the recipe I saw for hummus was quite simple you just really need a food processor and you soak these uh, for 12 hours in lightly salted water then you drain them and rinse them and you boil them in lightly salted water for about 50 minutes or until they're tender um, and then you drain them and you reserve some of the cooking water and you process these for three minutes in a food processor and then you add tahini some of the cooking water until it's uh, the, the right texture and you serve it warm with a drizzle of olive oil uh, and they say that it is just totally totally different than something like this that you can buy at the store so I'm gonna try this and whether or not I like it uh, I'm going to then try to make homemade hummus and see if we like that okay so for the hummus 
that's that um also a few more seasonings i got is some ground oregano i usually keep italian seasoning um and sometimes i'll keep a little oregano but i usually don't and many of the recipes call specifically for ground oregano and not the uh, chopped or leafy or freeze dried or whatever which is what i usually get okay and ground cumin which I normally do not buy and I'm not used to cooking with so that's going to be a new experience and also ground coriander same thing um, I've not cooked with coriander very much as I understand it coriander um, is the seeds of the cilantro plant so this is ground up cilantro seeds if if I'm understanding right and I do really like cilantro we often eat cilantro so I'm thinking we'll like coriander and then I just got some plain paprika because I have smoked paprika but many of the recipes call for sweet paprika which I couldn't actually find so I just got the regular because it's not smoked and I figure it'll do in a pinch and then I got some kosher salt. I normally use Himalayan pink salt. Let's see, I have it right here. I normally use this Himalayan pink salt. Uh, but many of the recipes that I'm finding in the Mediterranean diet call for kosher salt. So I got some of that. Uh, so that's just some of the herbs and spices and other things that I have purchased to try to switch over to a Mediterranean type uh, spice palette. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes with the hummus. Thanks for joining me. Y'all be sweet.